Ciao baby, Tanya Paul here, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never ever miss an upload! Did you know that according to the Stand Up to Work study, 65% of people with high digestible tasks reported increased productivity after one year and also reported better concentration ability plus the improved workers' health? So let me introduce you my new E7 FlexiSpot Stand-In Desk. Its height ranges from 58 to 113 cm. Its low capacity is 125-161 kilos. It's stable and durable, plus it's simply visually attractive and organized. With this desk you get a 7-year warranty. I spend a lot of time in front of my computer and sometimes I spend hours without standing up and trust me, it's not good for you, plus I do lose concentration after a while, so this new desk is so fun. Every time I feel bored, I just stand up and adjust the height of my desk. Also, an idea you can get a treadmill and put it onto your desk, you can combine low impact exercises with work. Honestly, it sounds way more fun than just sitting behind your desk for hours. Check out the FlexiSpot website that you can find in the description box below and choose your desk. FlexiSpot is leading the kinetic furniture movement across the world. They got over 10 million happy customers. You can check them, you can check their ratings, all of their ratings are very, very high. Over a thousand businesses have Lexus Pot in their offices. They offer a top rated sand and desk by Tech Creator 2021 and 2022. By the way, if you're not that keen on white, don't you worry, you can choose the frame as well as the desktop colors. There are also different desk sizes available and other accessories that you might want to get to make your office more comfortable and more stylish. Don't mind my office, that is still a work in progress and by the way, should I share the update with you once it's properly set up? Anyway, check out the Flexis pot. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you realistic office outfit ideas and I will share some advice on how to make your office life better. If you're someone like me who spends a lot of time behind your desk, let me share with you some tips how to balance your job with health and fitness. First of all, I know it might sound boring and quite obvious, but don't forget to take breaks. Set mini goals and every single time you reach them, stand up. Just keep in mind that you need to get up at least once an hour to walk around. Go check out what's going on outside. Just because you work at a desk job doesn't mean you're glued to your desk all day. Go to the bathroom, get a drink, chat with a co-worker about an upcoming project or just call someone. Just make sure you're not sitting, okay? Also, make sure you stick till the end so you can pick your favorite outfit. And of course, let me know about your favorite outfit in the comment section. I really like this one. But I have to say, there are other outfits that I really love. Let's see whether we have the same taste. Okay. Tip number two, don't forget to view your body and take advantage of lunch breaks. Just go and eat something, stand up, go for a walk, maybe eat while you're standing. I know it's super tempting to sit and relax on your lunch break, 
maybe put your favorite TV show and enjoy your food, but by lunch, your body can benefit from a short walk. Walking is the best exercise. You don't even need to go too far for it to be effective. Maybe invite your co-workers, go get a coffee together, grab something to eat, and make a daily routine of it. Once again, walking is the best exercise. I really love walking. Walks are the best for your mental health and overall health. Okay, this one might sound a little bit weird, but at the same time, why not try it, right? Meetings are the status quo of most office environments. Instead of buckling down for a long meeting, try suggesting that your group takes a walking meeting. Work around the office or even the block while you hash out ideas for your next project. Organize a meeting at some place where you would need to go on foot. Or if you're on Zoom or it's a call meeting, just stand up and walk around your office or your apartment if you're working from home or if you're outside, just go and walk around, take a stroll, enjoy the nice weather and listen to other people's opinions, air ideas and share yours as well. I just wanted to point out that this skirt is of such a high quality. It looks and feels great, but it's a little bit tricky to style because I once tried it with a different sweater, which is which is quite similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, but it just didn't work. And apparently I just needed a thicker sweater and a belt and this outfit looks so sophisticated. I really love it. Here comes another tip. Alternate between sitting and standing. Some office environments encourage standing at your desk with special height adjustable desks that allow you to either sit or stand, like the FlexiSpot desk that I luckily have. But if your desk doesn't, don't be discouraged. Stand when you can. For example, make all phone calls while standing Try sitting for 30 minutes and then standing for 30 minutes. But check out the FlexiSpo website or check them on Amazon and get yourself a height adjustable desk if you work from home. Or ask your boss to get you a height adjustable desk from FlexiSpot. I'm not really sure whether I ever showed you these shoes, maybe in some shorts, but I'm not really keen on them. I don't know, there is something off about them. I mean, they look pretty, look at them all, adorable, but at the same time, mm, they are a little bit tricky to style. That's why I don't really show them to you or wear them, but let me know how you feel about them. I'm super curious to see whether it's just me who's overthinking or they're a little bit too complicated. Oops, I almost fell here, yeah. Sometimes things happen to me like that as well. Okay, skip the elevator, okay? I know it's easy to let the elevator become part of your daily routine. It's very tempting to just press the button and go up. 
but if you find yourself using it too often, try taking these stairs regularly instead. Also, try parking farther away from the building so you're forced to walk across a parking lot. Count your steps, okay? Maybe just get that app, get the watch, and count your steps. A little decisions can add up to more physical activity. By the way, make sure to check out my website, tatianapalava.com, check out my blog, where you will be able to discover more updates and more outfit ideas. Check it out! I gotta say, I really like this outfit, but the star of this whole fit is definitely this cute little purse just look how adorable it is i love it i love the form you can ask me what you're gonna put inside just your phone in my case maybe and a wallet if it fits if it doesn't that's all right Utilize your time outside of work. Just because you work at a desk for 8 hours or more a day doesn't mean you have to go home and sit in front of the television for another 8 hours. Even though sometimes it does sound so tempting. Find ways to work active time into your life outside of work. Take a group exercise class. Hit the gym early in the morning or maybe after work. Or go for a walk with your family in the evening. Oh, and by the way, this outfit is one of my favorites. I just love it. It looks so cute. The turtleneck, the colors, the shoes, the bag. It's just a chef's kiss. I love it. The most important thing that you could do is listen to your body and it needs take breaks, drink water, fuel your body, look after yourself. Even if you're healthy, spending all day sitting isn't good for your health. But with some planning, you can incorporate more movement into your daily life. I have to say I was rather hesitant whether this shirt would match this skirt, but I have to say I quite dig this outfit. It looks very elegant and sophisticated. I don't really understand why people underestimate long skirt. They can be extremely stylish and just, you know, very beautiful. I decided to add some color and I chose this beautiful red pumps and I feel like this outfit is a winner. Just add a few details to, you know, make it even more special. By the way, don't forget that you can always rate the outfits from 1 to 10, where 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. Drop a comment! Here's the last outfit. For my last outfit, I decided to make something edgy, something that's gonna be a little bit controversial. And here is this outfit. Just wait a few seconds, you're gonna see the final result.
Thank you for sticking till the end. I hope the video was informative and you enjoyed the outfits. If so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to never ever miss an upload. Let me know in the comment section which outfit was your favorite and why. And if you'd like to see more of my content or you just want to say hi to me, feel free to reach out. I'll drop the links as usually in the description box below. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon. Bye!